That's funny. You, but for me, when it's gloomy out, it's so hard for me to get motivated. So what I did this morning is woke up, went to the gym, I'm all pumped now, regardless of the weather outside. We're gonna just make another video here. All right, let's go. All right, so I was reading an article written by Hartford Business Insurance. They were talking about the top 10 businesses right now not to open. Some of them I agree with, some of them I don't. We're gonna talk about just the last five. There is one way they could have avoided writing this article altogether, but I'll go over that at the end. Starting with number five, bookstores are actually what they recommended not to open right now. Less and less people are actually reading books. In 2011, they did a study, and only 20% of adults haven't read a book in the last year, which is actually surprising to me because I'm not a reader myself, and I didn't think as many people read. However, they did that same study in 2016, and now 26% of adults have not read a book in the last year. Shout out to Michael Rappaport. This book is great. If you're into sports, trash talking, anything like that, great read, hilarious. Now the fourth one actually made me laugh a little bit. It was actually video rental places. When's the last time you ever went to go rent a video? Not even just VHSs, but even DVDs. Why would anybody go rent a video when it's as easy as this? Netflix is literally available from a button right on my remote. Don't also forget, on demand. Coming in at the third spot are gift shops. Gift shops are filled with non-essential items that people only buy on a special occasion. If you're just starting out your business, you want to find a popular niche and something that people need on a regular basis so they keep coming back for more. Just some examples are like organic shampoo maybe, or some kind of revolutionized razor blade. You want to make sure they keep on coming back for more and more on a regular basis. And coming in at number four, you guessed it, ice cream shops. Now this one kind of caught me off guard. I love ice cream. I don't know anybody who doesn't except for maybe. And that's kind of understandable. But they do make a good point. The market is very saturated. Every corner you look at, there is some type of ice cream shop. It's better to come with a business idea that's more unique than this. And to wrap it up, the number one spot goes to office supply stores. Now, I don't know anybody who's really passionate about selling office supplies. But then they switched. From the swing line to the Boston stapler. Okay, maybe he is, but I don't think of anybody else. When opening a business, you want to make sure that you open something that you're absolutely passionate about. For example, for me, I love business. I'm very good with numbers, so I opened up a finance company. Now, I'm not saying I know numbers like long algorithms or anything like that, but I can tell you what 2 plus 2 is really fast. Ready? 2 plus 2 equals 4. I can even do it with my eyes closed. Watch. 2 plus 2 is 4. I can even do it standing on one leg. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. Anyway, you get my point. Now, Hartford could have done a better job instead of making me waste 25 minutes reading this article by just saying, don't open these retail stores. All these businesses can be very successful online. Now, I don't want to come off as negative in case anybody out there really was planning on opening up one of these businesses. If you're really passionate about something, I believe you could do anything. Moral of the story is, don't let people tell you what you can and cannot do. If you do want to open up one of these stores, I challenge you to become very creative and stand out from the crowd. Now that wraps up another video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this. I forgot to mention our newest addition to the family. Everybody say hello to Peanut. Hi, Peanut. <laughs>